morning all. So it's Saturday, 28th of March, and true platinum style, we're going big. This is the scaled version or the modified version of the RX workout now. So instead of double unders, we're going to do 50 single skips. Instead of the handstand walks, if you can't do handstand walks, we're going to do the bear crawl. So the bear crawl is not with your bum up in the air. Your shins are parallel to the ground and body parallel to the ground. And you're crawling in that position, forwards and backwards. It's up to you, but your body stays parallel and shin stays parallel to the ground. But don't put your bum up. That's incorrect. We want to be in that position there. That's your bear crawl, so you do 20 meters of bear crawl. And then the, instead of the widow makers, there's no reason you can't do widow makers, but if you don't have any equipment for, to do anything, then you just do burpees. Then we go into our six rounds of handstand push-ups. What you can do is the modified version of the inchworm push-up. So you have your hands wherever you can control yourself and your head goes forward in front of your hands to touch and then back up. So we've got a handstand push-up for or the modified handstand push-up. Alternatively, you can do a normal push-up. Alternatively, take a dumbbell or your barbell and do your seated shoulder presses. Okay, dumbbell or kettlebell. And we're pressing up that way. That takes care of your handstand push-ups. Then we're going to the uh, bent over rows. Again, if you guys have seen the other video, you bent over rows with your bar, body parallel to the ground, and we row into the solar plexus. If you don't have any equipment, wrap a towel or a sheet or a, ro a skipping rope around a tree or a pillar or wherever you can find something to lean on and you pull yourself up and back down. You can tie a knot in a sheet, put it on the other side of the door, close the door and then you can do pull-ups that way. You can lie a ladder across two benches and lie underneath the ladder and do pull-ups that way. So we have pull uh, that can replace your bent over rows if you don't have any equipment. Squat jumps, stock standard, break 90 degrees and launch off the ground. If that's too hectic, then do a squat jump onto the toes and just do a calf raise at the top of the squat. But the squat itself is still flat footed. So you do six rounds there. Then repeat that section, which is the single skips, the bear crawl, and the widow makers. Then we go into our six rounds, again pull-ups, we've just been through that, all bent over rows. Push-ups, and then the lunge jumps. If you can't do the lunge jumps, then just do the stock standard stepping lunge. Alternatively, if you have a step, or a chair or a table, step up onto there. Then we repeat that section over there. That's the 50 single skips, the 20 meter bear crawl, and the 10 widow makers, or the 10 burpees. And then we've got the sumo deadlift high pull. Right, so if we don't have anything to do the sumo deadlift high pulls with, Okay, so your stock standard sumo deadlift high pull. If you don't have anything to do, then just do a deadlift. Find a cement bag, uh, anything heavy, a heavy backpack, load all the books in, bricks, you name it, hold on to the kids, and just do a deadlift with that object instead of the sumo deadlift high pull. Dips, you just do on the edge of a a box or a bench so that your body stays as close 
to the box as possible. The further out your legs, the easier it is, the closer in your feet, the harder it is. Uh, the further out it is, your legs, the harder it is, the closer in your feet, the easier it is. And then abs, any ab exercise, butterfly sit-ups, normal sit-ups, roll-outs, sit-up with a press, V-ups, any of the movements we've done in class, you'll know what to do. And then we finish off with that last section at the end. And that takes care of your scaled version or home version of Saturday's workout. Good luck.